As Indianapolis Public Schools works to finalize its Rebuilding Stronger Plan, or RSP, we're getting some new information here, a new idea of how the district hopes to pay for it. Yeah, as we've told you, the R uh, RBS plan includes sweeping changes like reorganized schools, changing school zones, and even some building closures. Fox 59's Aaliyah Blackburn breaks down the hope for two referendums that could be on the ballot by May. It's been a little more than a month since IPS announced the contents of its proposed Rebuilding Stronger Plan. We think the majority of those things are reflective of things that those communities asked for. After listening and adjusting to feedback from numerous school and community meetings, Superintendent Alicia Johnson says now they're looking at plans on how to fund the RBS vision. We are excited to be able to make this case. Um, to our community between now and May when we would expect to be on the ballot. Voters could decide on two referendums totaling to $810 million. Johnson says the capital referendum, which is $410 million, would go to updating district buildings. We have uh, a number of very old buildings in our district. We're a district who has existed for a very long time, and some of our buildings are, are very much overdue. For some improvement. The operating referendum includes 50 million annually over an eight year term. Johnson says that money would expand services to students and ensure competitive pay for teachers and support staff. For median homeowners in the district, she says the overall impact is a $6 increase in your monthly property tax bill. Well, I would like to hear more about more details about their proposal when it comes to the referenda. Meanwhile, some parents like Latoya Hale Tahiru say they don't mind giving the money, but only if the Rebuilding Stronger plan is one they can support. But right now, there's still some concerns. I'm sacrificing a few more dollars for um, what I would like to see happen happen in IPS wouldn't be an issue for me, but it would definitely have to be the right plan moving forward. In Indianapolis, Aaliyah Blackburn, Fox 59 News. All right, Aaliyah, thank you. During last night's board meeting, the district said it plans to hold two referendum hearings to outline more specific projects and specific costs. The first one is expected to be sometime in mid or late November. The last time IPS held a referendum, that was back in 2018. And you can also view some of the recent updates to this proposed plan and our past coverage. We have all the links right now at fox59.com.